Hey everybody, it's Ed. All right, in keeping with the Christmas theme that I've been going with for the past couple of days, I thought today that I would talk about and give my review of this album. This is Elvis Sings Christmas Songs, Elvis's Christmas album, released by RCA Camden. Camden was a label, it was a budget label. Uh, I think they were located in New Jersey, Brunswick, if I'm correct. Oh, no, no, that was Pickwick, but Camden, New Jersey. Durr. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, this came out in 1970, and I don't know what I can really even say about it, except that this is the, well, one of the definitive Christmas albums of my youth, along with Elvis Sings' The Wonderful World of Christmas, but... That one and this album were the ones that I knew pretty much from birth up until other compilations started coming out. Um, but what can I say about this? Nothing. I can't really say anything because it is so intertwined in every Christmas that I have experienced in my lifetime, at least as long as I can remember. Um, you know, growing up, my mom, dad, my brother, when it was time to set up the Christmas tree, I can distinctly remember, you know, my mom going underneath where we kept the records, pulling this one out, pulling out Elvis Sings the Wonderful uh, World of Christmas, and putting them on the turntable as we set up and decorated the tree. And uh, on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, the, these were constantly being played. So this particular album is almost identical to the original uh, Elvis's Christmas album. There are a few songs that are omitted and a couple of other songs that were put on here also. So from the original Elvis's Christmas album, we have Blue Christmas, Silent Night, White Christmas, Santa Claus is Back in Town, I'll Be Home for Christmas, Here Comes Santa Claus, Old Little Town of Bethlehem, and Santa Bring My Baby Back to Me. So those are eight songs uh, off the original Elvis's Christmas album. And then added on here was If Every Day Was Like Christmas, which wound up being my favorite Christmas song of all time. And they also put on here Mama Like the Roses. Didn't really ever feel that that was a Christmas song, but okay. <laughs> it's on here, so it is what it is. However, uh, the back of the album, they show the other Camden releases of the time. Right, but this is an original press. This was my mom's, uh, now mine. <laughs> Here is the album on the blue Camden label. Here's side two. Vinyl's nice and clean. Um, these pressings, you know, they weren't fantastic, but they weren't really, you know, bad either. So middle of the road it is a mono release which is good um but the camdens could could be hit or miss with their pressings but this one sounds good even today it still sounds good i've uh put it on prior to making the video just to see how it sounds i gave it a cleaning and it still sounds good very happy with it but again i i can't speak highly enough of this particular album and i i'm sure i'm biased with this one because like i said as long as i can remember every christmas this was being played so i don't know what else i could say high regards if you come across this you know out in your travels i'm sure it is not expensive i highly recommend getting it if it looks like it's in good condition um, did they ever make a CD version of this Camden release? I'm sure they did. If they do, I do not have it. Uh, but I've always loved this this uh, selection because I felt they cut out the, the you know songs on the original Christmas album that I didn't really feel were Christmas songs. They were more religious songs than than Christmas songs. At least that you know that's how I felt about it. But uh, everything you know, Christmas song that was on Elvis's Christmas album is on here. Plus, If Every Day Was Like Christmas. And then, like I said, they also threw in Mama Like the Roses. So as far as I'm concerned, The Perfect Christmas would entail putting this album on and immediately following it up with Elvis Sings the Wonderful World of Christmas from 1971. 
and that's it. My Christmas would be complete. <laughs> All right, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you have this particular uh, album, and if you do, what you think of it. If you hold it in as high regard as I do, leave a comment. Let me know. All right, and if you think I'm talking, you know, crazy talk, then leave a comment. Let me know. All right, but I appreciate you all watching. As always, be good to yourselves and be good to each other. Take care.